think Dr. Suki Mooker, who's one of my mentors, he graduated where Suki graduated. He went, I think he went to CMCC, um, but he's legend in the field, stud. He said two out of every three chiropractors will be out of business within five years of school. Five? Is that like five a years. recent? Is that like a recent? This was back in 27, 2018. Uh, I can't first imagine it's that. changed too much since then. I, I don't think it has. Um, and I think it's partially due to burnout. That's a whole conversation, which I'm happy to explore. Yes. Um, burnout. Um, they also get injured. I think majority, I think, you know, with KTC or Kairos training culture, we pulled different stats and um, it was part of a journal and it was saying how about 50% of chiropractors within the first five years of practice will have a uh, career shifting injury that's in the wrist, it's in the shoulder, it's in the low back. So when you examine injury, when you examine burnout due to, because, you know, school teaches us how to, or it gives us the permission and gets us the licensure, but to thrive, to be, it, it takes a different kind of exposure. And I think a lot of students, they can't see above or in front of their nose or beyond, you know, whatever is right in front of them. So they don't take the time to thoroughly, I'll say thoroughly expose themselves to different models of practice, shadowing, finding mentors, going to seminars, finding fire podcasts like yours, because they're just like, I need to pass these tests. I need to pass these mm -hmm. tests. Then you are chasing this degree. You're chasing these A's or chasing a 4.0, thinking it's what's going to make you successful, but you haven't even defined success for yourself in school and out of school. So that way, when, when you're actually in practice, you're just always, like you just said and highlighted, you know, it keeps you in a stressed state because you don't ever, you didn't create the systems or you didn't play with the systems or you didn't have an image that you want to go for. You didn't think about what you want to actually experience. And, you know, working Dr. Joe Dispenza's work and working with, um, no, I think it's, um, I got a framework on eight domains of life. It's from Joel Brown, but he took Dr. Joe Dispenza's work and then the Wolf of Wall Street. Was it Jordan Belfort? I think is the name. I know the Wolf of oh. Wall Street. I don't know the person's name. That's yeah. the guy. Yeah. Mel did how to like, craft your vision for yourself. But Joe Dispenza talks about creating your vision for your life physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, professionally, relationship wise, fun and adventure, fun and adventure. And then I think it's like intellectually, a domains of life, but focus on the energy, focus on like I am da da da, and like talk about your life in these different facets of life as if you already have it and focus on the energy and then the doing will come from that. But so many chiropractors, once more, they don't understand energy and they don't understand how it's a link from the intelligence to the matter and how the energy is what dictates the quality of matter, especially over time. So that's why, you know, I pledged Delta Sigma Chi. So I'm a brother, of course. And then I studied, I got more exposed to philosophy because I went to Life University. But just because we got exposed to philosophy doesn't mean that people accept it. And where I think a lot of people get lost in chiropractic is they like, oh, that's too spiritual or oh, they're psychotic or whatever the hell that they say. And then there's the reductionists that are like, we need to be evidence-based, blah, 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 blah. But what I think majority of people miss, and this is where Dr. Travis Corcoran, one of my brothers who's over in the Netherlands, um, owns 13 clinics there, and he founded a school out there as well too. He talks about the vast majority of people are in the middle, like probably like 80% are somewhere like, you know, they might hover a little bit more towards others. The spiritual spiritualists, quote unquote, they need to be grounded and they can't talk like, sign they can't talk the matter and then the reductionists are like we need to be evidence-based and anything spiritual but it's like if you don't understand how philosophy and science are actually integrated and they're together as philosophy is what creates the questions science is what actually produces the how and shows and demonstrates the how then you understand neither and our profession i think is just once more just in a our, if you were to take a body the body of a chiropractic that's now 120, 127, 128 years old, give or take. The body of chiropractic, I think, is just stressed. And I think chiropractic is a stressed teenager because don't really know the identity, still trying to find our voice. We got fucking so many people on TikTok just dismantling skeletons and popping potato chip bags that are like chiropractors be like. And I think that's because a lot of chiropractors have succumbed to, or just they try to sell the they try to sell the pop, they try to sell the cavitation, they try to sell the little pss, like you know on a soda can. It's like, 
bro, like you sound just the pop. It's like you didn't even talk about the flavor. Mm-hmm. You didn't even sell the experience. You ain't sell um, the delivery of it. Like you go to a restaurant, you don't just like look at something and then you're like, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm going to pick that for the name. But then it's like, but the enjoyment of the experience, the taste, the flavors, the presentation of things, like the ambiance, the environment. I was like, chiropractic could be like this beautiful five-star like restaurant experience but there's a lot of fucking mcdonald's chiropractors that are just complacent or content with just being a doctor crack or just trying to release things but it's like you think you're a chiropractor just because you got a joint to pop it's like you're missing the big idea and that's from brett from because it's just it's just there's so much more and i'm like fuck fuck